everybody, Ann here, just sitting here in the tiny house, having my coffee with all of you. It's a little cold, so I got my hoodie on. I don't have a fire going yet or anything. But today, I really, really want to process some more wood. I want to put that bow saw to good use. But first, I want to show you some things that I have purchased with my, with my Christmas money that people have sent me. So here, let me show you what I got. I ordered a bunch of stuff off of Amazon with my Christmas money that was given to me by the lovely Miss Donna B, um, Jeanette P, and one other individual who wants to remain anonymous. So these are some of the things that I have been able to get because you guys were very kind and generous. This is a seven foot propane extender hose that I needed so that I could hook up both of my buddy heater and my cooktop at the same time. And I also needed one of these, a Y splitter. So I went ahead and ordered that too and I have put them into use. Here, take a look. There it is, it works great. The one on the left goes to my cooktop and the one on the right goes to my buddy heater. It just works perfectly. I always keep this turned off when I'm not using it, just in case but no leaks, no nothing, it works great. Might be hard to see, but I keep the buddy heater just kind of located over here uh, when I'm not using it. And then I just pull it about to right here. I could get it further into the room, but I don't really want to set it on the carpeting. Set it about there, and it just heats this whole place up. Now, I don't like to use the buddy heater too terribly much for heat because I have to pay for the propane, and although propane is pretty inexpensive, it's more expensive than free wood and just burning burning wood on the stove and using that for heat and cooking and whatnot is just so delightful. I love it. I got Judy here. What is she doing? Um so anyhow, yeah, that's that's the first part of the stuff that I've got that's actually been delivered. The next thing that has been delivered are these rechargeable AAA batteries. I had just gotten tired of using batteries up and then having to dispose of them. I mean, it's toxic to the environment, really, and you can't just throw them in the trash or burn them or whatever because they'll explode. So, you know, I just wanted to be able to have ones that I could recharge and use over and over again. And these are the rechargeable AAA batteries that I ordered. Power Owl. Power Owl, am I saying that right? Yep, they come with a warranty, and most of the little lights that I use, that like the little tap lights and whatnot, require AAA batteries, and all of my rechargeable AAA batteries are shot. So these are really gonna come in handy. I already have a little charging thing that I can hook up to my solar, so this is gonna be really great. And here's another thing that's been delivered. It is a heavy duty, steel, metal, whatever, shelving unit. It's the dimensions that I needed. You can pull it around. It's on wheels and it's going to be very heavy duty. I'm hoping to fit this behind the door. And there's the big box that the big metal shelving unit is in and it's packed in here pretty good. So uh, depending on whether or not it's too wet to go process some wood today, I may end up putting this together, but this is going to be great. It's very heavy duty. The next thing that I ordered with my Christmas money is this little pump spout thingy. Um, you just hook a tube onto the bottom and you put it into your water source and the pump goes up and down. And hopefully this will all fit together with the tubing that I already have. This has not been delivered yet, so we're just going to have to wait and see. But I figured this would also be helpful and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to fit it down right into the holes on that big sink that I have. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I also ordered one of these. It's a can opener. I broke my old fashioned one and it just works so good and I had it for years. A friend lent me another one but it basically kind of fell apart and I open a lot of cans. So I ordered this one. Hopefully it's going to be good. It came very much recommended and I'm hoping that my little arthritic fingers will be able to operate this. So I'm looking forward to getting this. I think I'm getting it either tonight or tomorrow. Next on the list is this little lantern. Now, my good friend Francie had sent me one of these and I used the heck out of it and it just stopped working. I think I may have disconnected some wires or something, so I may have a look at it and see if I can fix it, but it just doesn't work anymore and I absolutely love that thing. So I went ahead and ordered this one. It's actually got a solar panel on the top so I can even set it outside and let it charge up out in the sun. And having multiple different kinds of lighting options is really a must when you're living off grid and I don't even have to hook this up to my solar although it does have a USB charger I think I'm pretty sure and you can also operate it on batteries 
But yeah, definitely these put off a lot of light, so I'm looking forward to getting this one too. Last but definitely not least, I ordered this shelving slash wardrobe unit. It comes with a metal frame. It's enclosed by a cloth-like you know, cloth thingy, and you can roll that little thing down on the top to, you know, totally close it off. I'm going to put this behind that wicker room divider thingy that I've got, and because what I've got right now is just not holding up. It's not working very well, and it doesn't have shelves, and I don't have a whole lot of clothes that I need to actually hang up, so I'll be able to get like those little um, square box thingies and put them in there if I need to put shoes on the bottom and whatnot so that's gonna go behind the privacy screen and I think that this is gonna be a real space saver all of these things you see before you have been made possible by wonderful generous people who wanted to do something great for me for Christmas so they sent donations to the channel there is Jeanette P there's the lovely Miss Donna B and another individual who chooses to remain anonymous and this was all made possible as well by the lovely Miss Teresa Pritchard who pulled people together and wanted to do something really great for me for Christmas so thank you so much Teresa it just it just means so very much to me. These are all going to come in very much handy. I really needed each and every one of these things, so thank you. Now it's time for me to go outside and see if it's too wet to process wood. If not, well, I got stuff I can do inside. Look at this, you guys. I've got every single chicken on my porch. Might be hard to see. That's Judy's paw prints on my window. I need to clean that off. There's two down there, more over there. Oh, more over there. That is so cute. And yeah, they do, whoops, they do peck at that, the garland on the Christmas tree and whatnot. Look at that. They're getting so big. Oh my gosh. It's still really wet out here. Wet, wet, wet. What I'd like to do is that trunk over there that Andy started cutting down. I was thinking of trying to get over there and see if I can cut some more of that off. I think it's too wet. Oh, look, <laughs> they all ran out. Not all of them. Yeah, yep, all of them are coming. <laughs> it's like, look at you, Mr. Romeo. Yep, they all just come out and follow me around. It's too wet over there, girls. What? 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 Look at you. Look at that big old comb you've got. Oh my gosh. That that one's comb is the reddest and the biggest. And the little waddle things underneath. Look at that. Look at you. Look at you, pretty chicken. Yeah, I'm thinking it's probably a little too damp today, and it is absolutely freezing outside, too. I think I'm going to save this for, I think tomorrow's going to be pretty sunny outside, so I'll do indoor projects today, I guess. I'll tell you what, though, it is so cool coming out here and seeing these chickens roam free and pecking away, finding free food, but I've got a real concern over some dogs in the neighborhood so I'm reconsidering the whole free-ranging thing. May try and extend their yard, make it a little bigger. I don't know. Maybe do a chicken tractor, just pull that around. It's just I love seeing them out here, walking around, hunting, pecking, eating all the yucky bugs. So that's definitely something I'm going to have to think about is the, not the wild predators, but the dog predators. As always, I got sidetracked. I'm out looking for stuff. I found this pretty moss I'm going to try and do something with. And then I found this little crevasse, <laughs> however you say it, in between these trees. And it looks actually like it's a animal den. I don't know, but there, there is a mushroom growing down in there. I don't know if you can see it. <sighs> I'm going to see if I can get to it. Can you guys see it? Can you see it now? Right there. What is it? I have to see if I can get it. Hopefully there's no critters living down there. Oh my goodness. All I did was grab a stick 
and just broke off. I thought it was one, but it took two. There's a ton of them down there. It was attached to this dead tree stump by here. So I don't know if this is the bottom and this is the top. I'm assuming this is the top. This looks like the spore surface. Can you see that, what it looks like? It's like just a bunch of little holes. I don't know what this is. It looks like it's already starting, oops, I broke one. <sighs> to change color a little bit where I've touched it. All right, I'm gonna see if I can break one open. They're very, they're old. They're old, I think they've been here for like ever. I'm gonna see if I can break one open and see what it looks like inside. This is what it looks like on the inside. Very, very woody. I don't know what this used to be. Um, I think that they've just been down here for a really long time, but there are a ton of them down there. So this is going to be interesting finding out what this is. You know what they say about best laid plans and whatnot. That's all right. I ended up having a really great day. Didn't get too terribly much done. I got some stuff organized inside the tiny house because I need to put that shelf unit together. But I spent about an hour exploring on my own property today, places that I couldn't get to before because the brush was just so thick. So, yeah, that was kind of cool, actually, finding all those different things. And I found a lot more mushrooms. I'm not going to... Um, I'm not going to show them all to you right now, maybe someday, because I know not everybody loves mushrooms like I do, but I found some interesting things out there, so I need to find out what they are and whether or not I can eat them. Anyway, you know what? It's been a great day, so that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. For watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.